Okay, using the uh, radio and CD player. There goes Mogwai again. She go into any open cabinet. To, to use the uh, radio or CD player, you're going to have to turn on number 10, TV Hi-Fi. Okay? Uh, then you, if this doesn't turn on right away, just hit the power button. And I have some preset stations down here in Key West, but sometimes they blink out. If it ever blinks out on you, just keep hitting the power button and eventually it'll stay on. So let's go ahead and get to a station here. <clears throat> okay, there are house speakers there and one over there. And then we also have speakers out here in the cockpit back here. You can control the volume uh, and your presets and everything with this uh, little um, control panel back here in the cockpit. That's volume up, volume down, yada yada. There's also a volume knob right here. Uh, the Stereo has a bunch of functions. Um, we don't have any series radio. Uh, this CD player is not connected, so it's always going to say no disc. If you want to use, if you have CDs, if anybody has CDs anymore and you want to use CDs, I have a six disc CD changer uh, right down here. So you can change out your CDs, pop that little thing out, and you kind of load these up like little cartridges, you just pull one each. And then um, carefully load it back up. And that's how that works. Uh, we also have aux, so you can play music right off your phone. There's no Bluetooth, but we have old school, just quarter inch phono you can plug into your phone. If you have an Apple phone, you'll have to have the dongle. When you're done using the stereo, go ahead and turn number 10 off. Any questions, give me a message. Normally, when all the portholes and hatches are open and there's a nice breeze, you will be more than comfortable down here. Uh, however, on hotter nights and days, you may wanna use these little, I have four rechargeable fans, and there's gonna be a little towel um, or dish rag with them because you can use this, this clip to mount them right on the rail here. However, the, the wood is soft and these this spring and clip are really strong. So what I ask you guys to do is just go ahead and put your little towel right there. Then you can go ahead and that kind of acts as a cushion. And these things are great on low. It'll last for something like 10 hours. On medium, it'll get you through the night at probably uh, you know six to eight hours. On high, it'll last about four hours. And you can see the state of charge <clears throat> is right on the back there. Uh, plug it right into the outlet to recharge. The power blocking cord should be right by the fan. Another note about the portholes, the only portholes I need you guys to not open are the ones all the way in the back of the boat, um, right along the transom. They're really low and water from uh, the ocean can splash up through them if we have any kind of waves. So please keep those portholes closed, both in the starboard and aft cabins. Any outlets on the boat work just like your outlets at home, 120. You can charge uh, all your small electronics, laptops, tablets, cell phones. Um, the blender that we have, you can plug right into the outlet over here to make your mixed drinks and your ice drinks and things like that. <clears throat> all right, so let's take a more in-depth look at the uh, switch panel and some of the electronics like our inverter, charger, and some of the other control panels down here. Uh, just in general, the large blue Victron inverter charger, the mains panel, the digital multi-control, and the outlet panel, the sub-panel, please do not touch any of that, okay? The normal status should be a green light here on inverter. This switch should be to the little on uh, label. 
There should be a number 30 on the digital multi-control. Should, there should be a light by inverter on. This switch should be toggled over to on. The mains should be off because we're not connected to shore power. And there should be a red light uh, here at the sub panel, which means the inverter is uh, running power, inverting the battery power to 120, and your outlet should be working. That's normal status. Up here on the switch panel, um, there's only a few switches that you guys really need to know about. Uh, there's three switches that will stay on all the time. That would be number four, the refrigerator, number 13, the water pressure, and number 14, the bilge pump. They should always be on. Everything else should be off unless you're using it. For example, five and six, those are our lights, and I already went over those. These are the main house lights, and then the aft cabins for six and also the rear head, uh, you'll need to have that on. Seven, eight, and nine, uh, that's for when the boat is underway, so you guys don't need to ever switch those on. They should all always be off. Number 10, again, is our stereo. So if you want to use the stereo, you can turn number 10 on. Um, 11 and 12, you guys should never touch. Uh, that They should always be off. 13, 14, like we said, always on. 15 and 16, 15 uh, 15 should always remain off, but 16, uh, if it's chilly or you would like to take a shower in the head, that is a possibility. First, you'll have to turn 16 on. You'll have to make sure 13, the water pressure is also on, which it always should be. The, this, um, indoor shower, so to speak, is really only going to take place here in the larger rear head. And basically all it is, is you can lift up the faucet from the sink and that's on an extendable hose and you can turn on your water and there's a little switch here to make it more like a shower. If you're going to shower in the head, I prefer you not, I prefer you use the outdoor shower, but in case you'd like to, um, obviously you're gonna close this door, you're going to take the waste basket and the scrubber and just put it up here in the back or on the toilet and you know you can sit down and do this and what's going to happen is all the water is just going to go down by your feet and collect down here and there is a pump right here and a switch here so when you're done showering you're going to pump out the water and it'll take the water and dump it overboard and just make sure you clean up all in here um, what you can also do to help dry things out is grab the um, orange chamois and then you can wipe out your your head okay the last two 17 and 18 17 of course is our gas for the stove so if you're going to be cooking on the stove you're going to need to turn 17 on first and make sure you always turn 17 off after you're done using the stove and finally 18 18 is the cockpit light and that is right up there you can see it just turned on where my finger's pointing so at night if you're hanging out up there and you want a little light and you don't have a headlamp or anything like that you can go ahead and use cockpit light just make sure to always turn that off this light is um, solid incandescent so it will eat up a lot of battery it's not an led when you are ready to go to bed to go to sleep make sure that this is how the switchboard looks only three switches on do not leave any of the lights on don't leave any of the pumps on so only 13, 14, and number four should be lit up for you guys.